Hello and good day, beautiful soul, and welcome to today's daily angel message, March 20th, 2019. It's also the spring equinox day, so <laughs> it's very appropriate, in my humble opinion, that we are sharing this time with Mitra, M-I-T-H-R-A, Mitra, angel of light. Where there is light, no darkness can hide. Nothing can be concealed from you, although it tries. So, stepping into the light is more than banishing darkness. It's about facing yourself. It is also about your willingness, your commitment, your deepest desire to be seen, to be heard, to be understood, to be accepted. Good morning, beautiful soul. When you light a candle, it's like all the shadows in the corners disappear. Imagine, if you will, the divine spark or the divine flame or the flame of divinity within your heart center. When you are more open to yourself and you don't have to be shouting it from the rooftops or climb up on a mountain or a pedestal or any of those things, you just get to be you and walking your path as best you can each and every day and sometimes it's not that easy sometimes walking your path is kind of like hiding out in the sense of stepping away and maybe kind of um, you know being a hermit for a day or two especially if you are a sensitive empath because energies can get overwhelming today is the spring equinox Birth, rebirth, renewal, reconnection, resurrection in, in a sense. The plants are coming alive. This is the first day of the new season, the new cycle, an astrological um, coming into or coming out. Hello, Suzanne. And when you step into the light, and even if you've been stepping in and stepping out for a while, there's always another layer, another level, another, just more. <laughs> There's just more because your vibration changes. You let go of junky stuff. You let go of hurt and disappointment and betrayal, keeping the lessons and just keep on moving forward. And I am a bit tired today. <laughs> My energy is low, not a low vibe, just a low level. I went shopping yesterday for some more crystals and oh, talk about tiring out. I know it doesn't sound like it should be. However, it was interesting. I got to shop out in the back 40, but I'm digressing. Anyway, um, The deepest part of your, your, your inner essence wishes and desires to be free of all of the human interactions, self-inflicted and helped by others to get you where you are or where you used to be, so that you fit into somebody else's mold, someone else's projection of who you should be, what you should do, what you should not do, and heaven for heavens for heaven's sake don't do anything that would shake things up but you didn't come here to fit into somebody else's mold create a new one for yourself one that continues to expand and helps and supports you rather than keeps you confined and small and insignificant so that others are more comfortable around you so let's continue and <laughs> connect with Mithra
She is showing me a candelabra that holds three candles. The one in the center is gold, the one on the left is white, and the one on the right is pink. So gold is like the ultimate alchemy of energetic alchemy or spiritual alchemy where we transform leaden, dense, negative energies, low vibe energies into higher, clearer, more loving and pure energy and pure in the sense of being more connected with you and who you are. The white candle represents purity, protection, and purification. The pink candle on the right signifies love and healing. When I close my eyes, the phone moves. Sorry. <laughs> I'll try to keep it more stable. Beloved child of love, you came here to light the way, to be a way shower in your own special unique ways. Why allow others to dictate to you what is right, what is proper, what is expected of you? What is expected of you from the heavens, from my brethren and me, is to fulfill your purpose with love, abundance, light, life. forgiveness, joy, and happiness. It is not about hiding in the shadows. It is about exploring your inner self and allowing that to radiate outward from within. That is your calling card. That is how you change yourself. That is how you create space for others to step into or step out. Those who choose to step out, allow them the graceful exit. If they choose a non-graceful exit, allow that as well. When we, when you, beautiful child, choose to hold on to things, to people, to situations and experiences. You hold yourself back from your truest expression, from what is really yours, what is waiting for you on the other side of fear. It is said, fear and all that you desire are but an eyelash width, a breath away. And we are complete. All right, beautiful soul. Thank you for being here now or later. Thank you for sharing this. If you do, I would appreciate it. There are others who would love to know more about angels and to possibly receive a daily angel message and a mini meditation. We'd love to have you join us in Walking with Angels Inner Circle. It is an exclusive sacred space where you get to learn more about specific angels, the crystals they work with, how they can help you, and how you can work with them. So until next time, beautiful soul, remember, you are loved, you are treasured, and you matter. <laughs>